As the moment of humanity's awakening approaches, many are experiencing unexpected emotions of great intensity arising into their awareness the remembering and re-experiencing of long forgotten or deeply buried trauma stuff that they thought was over and done with, that they thought was healed. Childhood wounds and suffering are often very deeply buried to enable the child to survive and grow, but in later life they surface to be healed, and re-experiencing them can be very painful and surprisingly intense. If they are not addressed as they arise the suffering intensifies. To address and release them is part of humanity's awakening process because you will awaken into love, reality, source, where anything that is not in alignment with that wondrous state, your natural state, has to be left behind, discarded or dissolved before you awaken, because the unreal cannot enter into reality. When you go within, to your holy sanctuary of divine love and no one is without one tell God of your suffering and ask for help to let it go by surrendering it to her. She is male and female in perfect harmonious equilibrium and will embrace and soothe your troubled hearts, allowing those ancient and painful traumas to just dissolve into the nothingness from which they seem to arise. Remember, there is only now. Nothing remains from the past, which is unreal and nothing hangs over you as the future approaches because the two is unreal. You are, and always are, the beloved and untroubled children of God residing now in His presence in utter peace and joy. What you, as humans, experience apart from love, is unreal and cannot last. Make daily visits to that holy inner sanctuary where love resides permanently open your hearts, and allow it to embrace you. All that you need do is allow by surrendering to it, and then you will realize that you are one with it, and that indeed there is no separation. Doing that allows all that buried or denied trauma, suffering, or plain emotional confusion with which you are all burdened to arise into your awareness, and then, if you do not engage with it by trying to remember all that happened in that particular instance, or try to understand it, it will dissolve. It will probably not be instantaneous because it is like grief, it has to flow through. And because you are living as humans in time, it takes time and you will feel it, possibly very intensely, so have tissues at hand. John has been doing a lot of this over the last few months. When the flow ceases you will feel relaxed, probably quite tired, and at peace, until the next time. But, it will come to an end, and the more willingly you allow it in the more quickly will it pass. Men probably have more of a problem with this than women because they are mostly enculturated to be tough. And being tough means not showing emotions, therefore blocking their emotions although anger is often seen as tough, and is therefore acceptable. Has become normal, so when sadness or suffering of any kind arises, leading to crying, it is almost automatic to shut it down. So for men, it will probably be necessary to find somewhere safe somewhere they know that they will not be seen or disturbed, and thus safe from the embarrassment of being seen not only to have intense feelings, but to be sobbing their hearts out. It is not a manly to do so, that is just an unfortunate male stereotype that needs to be discarded. To release all this buried and painful emotional trauma is an absolutely essential part of your and humanity's awakening process. However, if you have already done a lot of work on yourselves, what you experience may well be as a result of your wise and loving choice to assist in the collective release of eons of trauma that have resulted from the painful games in which all have been involved since the separation experience was initiated. When stuff comes up, rejoice. It means that you have made the decision to release all that is holding you back by opening to love, your true and eternal nature. It will be unsettling, buried emotions disclosed are always unsettling, but allowing them to flow will bring you to a space in which inner peace will enfold you. That place of inner peace is closed off to you when you deny or bury your feelings because that intense resistance you are living with closes off access to the comforting arms of love. Love feels. You know that because you have all at some time experienced love offered and have accepted it, even if only briefly, though probably not as you are reading this. Love is what the search for meaning is all about and has always been all about, but the games of survival that you have been playing for eons have required you to build defenses against attack and betrayal, and those defenses also lock out love. Love is always vulnerable, undefended, and amazingly strong and powerful. When you open to love you no longer need defenses of any kind. 
allowing the pain and suffering of past traumas to arise in your awareness and flow out through you washes away those fearful needs, freeing you to engage fully with your source, from whom you have never for even a moment been separated. Go within and discover the treasures that have been stored there over the eons. Every single loving thought, word, or deed you have ever engaged with, no matter how seemingly inconsequential it may have seemed to you, has helped create a storehouse of treasures that you will discover with delighted astonishment when you awaken into full conscious awareness of who you truly are. Lay down your masks, the false selves you present to the world, open your hearts in vulnerability and delight in the freedom you experience. When you do you will find others, also unmasked, responding to you, and true relationships, holy relationships, will be established where you would previously have thought them impossible. You are all beings of light, of love, and when you uncloak yourselves by dropping your masks or false selves and offer love to others, instead of cautious observance as you check for the safety of the situation, the responses you call forth will delight and astound you. Your love, and so is everyone else, therefore engage only lovingly, and exult in the wonder that results. This is the time for which you have been yearning, so open your hearts and engage fully with the joy that awaits you.